this tutorial is going to be your cheat sheet for cut creases especially if you have hooded eyes or mono lids it's going to change the way you think about cut creases so if you're ready let's begin <music> shape my brows i'm going to be starting with the rare beauty brow harmony pencil and gel this is in the shade cool brown this is a very soft pencil so if you have very thick brows like me it makes sense to use something like this because it's not going to add too much color but if you have sparse brows or very thin brows and you want to make it thicker this is not the recommended product you're better off using something that's more pigmented like a brow pomade Using the Milani Concealer in the shade 145, I'm going to clean up underneath my brows and also use it on my lid as a base for the eyeshadows. And then to prevent the concealer from creasing, I'm going to be setting with the Domini Cosmetics Smooth and Blur Setting Powder in Translucent. Because I have hooded eyes, I'm going to map out a new crease above my natural crease line by placing three points. One will be right in the center above my eyeball in the socket and two in the corners. I'm going to be using the Huda Beauty The Nude Eyeshadow Palette. Using the shade Love Bite, I'm going to map out my new crease. Using a small blending brush by Colourpop, I'm going to place those three dots. One in the center and two in the corners. The next step would be to join these three dots. And the easiest way to do it is to lift your hood while you blend it out. And while I join the dots, I'm going to keep on adding more eyeshadow till I'm happy with the intensity. So I'm going to keep on layering. If you pick up too much eyeshadow at a time, blending becomes a nightmare. It's very difficult to blend when there's too much product buildup. So slowly layer it as you blend. Next, I'm going to pick up the shade Spanked and I'm going to blend this crease out further. I'm going to place this eyeshadow only in the outer edge of my crease and I'm going to keep on blending till the two eyeshadows melt into my skin tone. I'm going to do the same in the outer corner, first picking up the deeper shade which is Love Bite. I'm going to place it in the very outer corner, shading it towards the center of the lid. And then using the lighter eyeshadow called Spanked, I'm going to further blend this out to diffuse it towards the center of the lid. And then to balance everything out, I'm going to repeat it in my lower lash line. So picking up the deeper shade love bite i'm going to smoke it out in my lower lash line from the very outer corner to the inner corner and then using the lighter shade which is spanked i'm going to soften this further so now we have the same combination at the crease in the outer corner as well as lower lash line balancing everything out here's a fabulous way to cut the crease gets done quick and you get it right every single time using a lash curler i'm going to saturate the top curved part with some concealer i'm going to stamp this at the socket placing one end of the curler in the inner corner of my eye and if there's any extras you can erase it using a small blending brush and there you have a perfect cut crease every single time you don't have to struggle measuring anything out or trying to draw that cut crease with your brush all you have to do is saturate your lash curler and stamp it now all you have to do is take a little bit more concealer and paint your lid under that cut crease with the concealer i like to use a small flat shader brush to paint my lid it's precise and it comes out very clean every single time and then using my finger i'm going to diffuse out the edges that's going to make the blending easy with other eyeshadows. While the concealer is still tacky, I'm going to use this beautiful shimmery shade called Charmed and I'm going to press it onto my concealer in the inner corner. When the concealer is still tacky, it clings onto that eyeshadow really well, especially if you use shimmer eyeshadows or metallic eyeshadows and they show up more pigmented. And then I'm going to dip a blending brush in the shade Crave, again a beautiful shimmer and I'm going to start pressing it in right in the center of the lid and I'm going to blend it out with the other eyeshadows in the corners. Mm -hmm. 
using the Inglot Gel Eyeliner, I'm going to pull out a wing and line my lash line. You're welcome to use a liquid liner or any other eyeliner of your choice. And the brush that I'm using is a nail art brush. Using the Milk Makeup Infinity Long Lasting Waterproof Eyeliner Pencil in the shade Outer Space, which is black, I'm going to tight line. I'm going to highlight the inner corner with a little bit of shimmer. It adds so much drama that way. I'm going to use the lash curler again to curl my lashes before I use the Milk Makeup Kush High Volume Mascara to coat my lashes just to give it some length and volume before I use false lashes. And for false lashes, I'm going to be using the Tati Lashes in B is Back. I especially love these lashes on hooded eyes because it's not going to cover up the lid space, but it's also going to give you a lot of volume in the outer corner. And that'll give that very lifted effect in the outer corner of the eye. And here's the finished eye look. How absolutely stunning is that? And it gets done so quick because you're stamping the cut crease as opposed to carving it out, which takes a lot of time. And it comes out perfect every single time. You can see how clean that looks. Using the LH Cosmetics Infinity Bronzer, I'm going to add some warmth and dimension to my face. I'm going to add a little bit more color to my face using the Essence Pure Nude Baked Blush in the shade Berry Cheeks. I'm going to add that hue of rosiness to the cheeks. And then for lipstick, I'm going to be using the Ofra Liquid Lipstick in Kaye Ocho, but before that, I'm going to line my lips. And for that, I'm just going to be using an eyebrow pencil by ColourPop. I like the fine tip and it doesn't bleed in the corners. So I absolutely love to use brow pencils as my lip liners. And then I'm going to fill in my lips with Kaye Ocho. And here is the completed look. I'm living for this look. I like the overall look with the hair and the makeup and everything. It looks so elegant. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments below. And if you did, please don't forget to thumbs up. If you're new here, please consider subscribing and let me know what kind of videos you'd love to watch. Check out the description box for all the products that I use today. I've linked every single one of them. And you'll also find my social media links in the description box. I love you guys so much and I will see you soon with a brand new one. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.